you another Bath and Body Works 2020 um, pre candle day. So, um, candle day eve. It is Thursday um, evening. Um, the eve of candle day. And I was able to get my hands on some early the new candles that are coming out i got them early so the ones in the back in the little tower i've already shown in a previous video i'll link those down below but the star of the show right now is the one on the pedestal right here this is the frosted moscow mule and then what you see in front of you is we're also going to make um the drink frosted moscow mule this <laughs> inspired me um to get creative and have a little bit of fun on camera. Okay, so let's zoom in on Frosted Moscow Mule. Okay, first let's talk about, um, I guess I haven't really said what candle day is. It's like once a year with Bath and Body Works where they drop their candles down um, to like under $10. And um, they we just got the official email saying that it is going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which will be December 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2020. And on Friday the 4th, it will be online and in store. And then Saturday and Sunday, which is the 5th and the 6th, it will be in stores only. And they release candles, like new candles. So that's what I've been able to get early to show you guys. So then you can um, see if these are what you want and you guys can try and find them. Okay, so here is the beautiful Moscow Mule. The notes on this are sweet lime lemon zest and sugar cane now they put out the foaming hand soap first um and it is like absolutely amazing and so i knew i wanted this candle here is the hand soap and um the hand soap has been from the roaring 20s line um now i'm not sure if this frosted mule is really the roaring 20s i don't really know Back in the back, those are definitely Roaring Twenties, but um, okay, so let's look at this candle, and we're going to light it while we make our drink. It has this beautiful um, black lid on it, and look at this glass. I want to light this for a while so you guys can see what it looks like, and we can really smell it. Okay, we're going to give it a smell test. Oh my gosh, you guys, this thing is amazing. Um, it is like... A lemon lime amazingness it is just stunning it I mean like stunning in person but like it smells amazing okay let's light it okay guys so we have that lit back here I'm gonna come in close so you can see it this glass you're I can't think of the proper word but you're gonna be able to see through it <laughs> I know you can all of the glass, almost like a stained glass. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, and so then we'll talk about these other candles in case you missed um, my other video. Um, I'm just gonna grab them. I'll link it down below, but what the heck. Let's, let's look at them again. They're so amazing. Okay, so we have Black Cherry Merlot. And the notes on this are dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. So that is a new one. We have berry spritzer, which is frozen juniper berries, fresh cranberries, and cool peppermint and black currant. We have cranberry pear bellini, and the notes on this are fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot and tart black currant now i did this i smelled these and gave you my opinion um so if you're interested in that the video will be linked down below so then we have peach bellini and this is succulent white peach sparkling prosecco and sweet orange and just so you know i absolutely love all of these And then we have hot buttered rum, which is dark buttered rum, warm caramel, mulling spice, and vanilla bourbon. 
And then we have black tie, which let's look at this wax. It has black wax. This is amazing. This is a very cologne type of um, candle. Green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. And this one I haven't shown before. This one is called party dress. And guys, the label on this is velvet. Like it's textured. Like this is the most amazing blue and black candle. The wax is white, but the jar is blue. And um, let's see, this is um, sparkling bergamot, velvet lilies, and tonka bean. And like these two together. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> Scoot them back so you can see. These are amazing. Like for New Year's and New Year's Eve to set those out. They're amazing. They're gorgeous. Aesthetically pleasing to the eye for sure. Okay, guys, these are some of the candles that are available online. So we have um, Market Peach Linen Sheets, Island Margarita, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Mahogany Coconut, Eucalyptus Mint, something citrus, and Cactus Blossom. Okay, and then these are some of the other ones that are available that I haven't been able to get my hands on. There's a Merry Mimosa, and then this one over here on the right is um, Pink Apple Punch. So be on the lookout for these. Snatch these babies up if, if it's your thing. Okay, I just want to show you this. Last night I burned this berry spritzer. So you can see I burned it for quite a while and it just lights up that bottle image on the front and it's just absolutely stunning. Okay guys, this is a picture from where I went in store yesterday when I got these candles. Does anyone else decorate their store? <laughs> like I stacked these up and took a picture and then took them with me. I can't be the only person that does that. Okay guys, so I printed this recipe that I followed to make this Keto Moscow Mule Drink. Now typically people use this shiny um, mug, which I already had, but um, they have these for a four pack on Amazon. I'll link them down below. And okay, so we're not gonna do the alcohol version, but this is what my recipe called for. One point five ounces of vodka, a half of a key lime, a half of a can of Zevia ginger ale and crushed ice. Okay, so I, um, Zevia is um, a sugar-free product. So this is sort of keto. The fruit has a lot of sugar in it, but I just thought this would be fun um, for the holidays to make. Um, like you could do this with your kids, your grandkids, like, and it is so pretty. So what I did, okay, so for the main, I'm jumping all around. So I got um, Zevia ginger root beer, and I also got this LaCroix sparkling water in key lime. And then I also got Zevia ginger ale. So I'll show you on the back the ingredients, um, maybe. So it's, it's sweetened with stevia, which is like a natural sweetener. Um, and then I'll show you the back of the LaCroix, which it's basically just flavorings in there so okay so for the base i got that and then i don't have a fancy ice maker so i just took ice cubes put them in a baggie and then took a hammer and made crushed ice okay so then i thought it would be fun to do some toppings which i already did um a pitcher full just to kind of show you how pretty this can be i have some this um this glassware was handed down to me, so this is definitely vintage. It is so pretty. So I just, I kind of mixed all three of those in here and then put the fruit on the top. Um, you could put a lot of fruit in here, and then I think, um, like where it has the seltzer water in it, if you kind of stir it around a little bit, the fruit will jump around in there for a while. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know. 
you can have fun staring at it for a while. Okay, so I did a topping bar. I just put fresh um, blueberries and then I cut up a key lime and then back here, these are um, just fresh cranberries and then I cut up strawberries. And then, you know, with the germ situation happening, I put these tiny little spoons so <laughs> you could very carefully put a blueberry into your cup without touching it. And then um, back here, I have a little fork for the um, strawberries and the same thing, a spoon with that. And then I just, I use these little glasses and put it on this tray. Like, how cute is that? I ordered this stuff online. This isn't sponsored. Using the Instacart um, app. And you can get a membership for Instacart. I think it's like $100 a year, which sounds like a lot. But then, like Kroger's and Aldi's in my area, then you can have your groceries delivered. And the only thing, either it waives like that $10 delivery fee. So all you have to do is pay the tip. And I think the minimum to get it free is like $30. So that is a great life hack there. Okay, so let's make a drink. Okay, so we're gonna get some, fill this up with ice. Which I took all my ice. So there's our ice. And then we're gonna add um, some ginger ale to it. Or not, this is the root beer. Um, traditionally, I think this Moscow Mule um, calls for ginger beer. Okay, so then we added some of that, and then we're gonna add some of the key lime. And then we're just gonna add some fruit and make it pretty. Of course, that's gonna fall down in there, why wouldn't it? Okay, well it's just me, you guys, so my germs are for me. Well, you guys too, but you know, we're safe through the camera, I think anyways. Lord only knows with the beast. Well, you guys can't see. Oh, of course, I just dumped it everywhere. Woohoo! <laughs> Glad there's no alcohol in this. Okay, and then cranberries. Woo, there we go. Okay, and then when I slice these limes, I did a little slit in there so then it can sit on the side. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's gonna be sweet or not. Oh my God, you guys, it's amazing. It's a really good, really, really good. Okay, cheers. You guys, this candle, it's been burning about maybe 40 minutes. Look how pretty this is. This is just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna, before I end this video, I'm gonna let this burn a couple more hours so you guys can get the full effect of this candle. And it smells heavenly. It smells so refreshing in here. Like, this candle, um, I think the notes in it can just really lift your spirits. Like, we really need that right now. And I think this candle is um, gonna do the trick. Let's zoom in on it. How pretty. Let's all stare into this candle for a minute. Okay guys, this candle has been burning about, I wanna say three hours. And the um, wax on this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. The throw on this, it's not crazy strong. Um, it's about a six. I'm in a pretty big, I'm down here in my basement where I film. And it's a pretty big room, and I can definitely smell it everywhere down here. Um, when I go upstairs to the main part of my house, I can I get just a little hint of it. Um, but I absolutely recommend this candle. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Um, tomorrow is like the official candle day. I'm setting my alarm, I'm getting up early, and I think I'm going to vlog when I go shopping. I'm going to go in store. And, um, okay, so if you guys go shopping, everyone, um, stay safe, take your hand sanitizer, wear your mask, social distance, all those things. Um, but remember, you can order online, so you don't have to go in. If that's, you know, a personal choice. Um, but I mean, like, if it doesn't seem safe to me, I'm not going to go in. Like, but, um, 
My Bath and Body Works has done a great job with, they put out masks and gloves that you can take. And I mean, they even say like, if you wanna come and change these, you can, like they've said that. So, okay guys, well hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching and stay safe.